Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, with another manga review for you guys. Uh, it's going to be on Volume 2 of Brudo, Brudo sorry, uh, Satsujin uh, Kansatsukan no Kokuhaku. Very long name in Japanese, and I butchered it. Um, but let's just call it Brudo for now. Um, anyways, we follow the story of Hiroki Dan. And if you have not seen the first volume video, then you go. Sh you should go check it out in my channel. It is a gruesome, um, very graphic manga. So I want to throw that that warning before you know. You go look it up, and you're like, man, this is brutal. Yeah, I mean, the name is brutal. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. So just FYI, that's what it is. Um, it's very much like. Uh, Dexter or, or or stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, uh, before anything else, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. I am trying to reach uh, five thousand before the year is over, and I think it's very much possible. Um, I'm trying to record more and more in my room uh, because I know a lot of people uh, don't like it when I record my van for some reason, but um, sometimes I just have to. So that's just how it ends up being. But, anyways. Uh, again, this is on the second volume of Brutal. Um, long name is there in the description uh, if you guys want another long name. So, Hiroki Dan is essentially a... Uh, I think he works for, like, uh, for the investigators, for the detectives. But he himself is also a killer. He goes and gets rid of people that he thinks deserve to die. And I, I, I want to specify it's obviously not the right way to go. But he does get rid of very bad scum of the earth and we'll start with the first case because there's four chapters and typically what i've noticed on on this story they put about two chapters per um per guy that he's gonna kill the first chapter typically tells you the story of the guy uh what he's doing uh how he's doing stuff the second one kind of concludes that story and then him basically killing them so the first guy he is a reporter and he is a heavy hitter reporter he's always on people trying to get them to confess or to say something so that he can get a good story and basically sell 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 um because of this mentality that he has he uh sometimes gets people to the verge of you know going crazy or committing suicide uh which we see in the story if there's a teacher who is being bullied by students and I, when i say bullied i don't mean verbally uh only i mean they're throwing stuff at him during class between classes some of these girls uh take him into the restroom and they they pour water on him like it, it's it's extreme bullying that at one point he pushes the girl to defend himself right and obviously I work in the education system. That's a huge no-no. Um, even if you're getting hurt, it, it's very hard for, at least in the U.S., it's very hard for you to keep your license. In Japan, obviously, the rules are different, but not so much. Um, he is asked to not come for a while to school. He stays at home, and this reporter keeps bugging him and his family. Uh, does he have remorse? Does you know why did he push her, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and he ends up killing himself. Um, we see the scene where he stabbed his throat. Um, not just that, he killed his uh, own baby and choked his wife to death, and it's just a horrible scene. Um, but this reporter led him to this. Uh, he pressured him so much. Um, we find out that the daughter of the reporter is the one that actually bullied the teacher. And she herself starts being bullied because now the story has flipped to teacher commit suicide because students were bullying him. Uh, and again, this is all by the reporter. He's changing the story. He's flipping it to basically sell, 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 sell. And now the eyes are on his daughter. And he really doesn't care about that. Uh, he doesn't care if his daughter is being targeted or anything. So what ends up happening is uh, his daughter is about to commit suicide. and he kind of starts taking report on it. Like, how do you feel? Um, what do you think? It's, it, it's horrible. He has no sympathy even to his own daughter. So his death is planned by our protagonist, Hiroki Dan, 
and Shinoki Dan uh, basically goes into his car, kidnaps him, and he pours um, he pours um, acid down his throat. And all his deaths have a meaning, and for him is that the what he was saying and what he was writing and portraying in the media was hurting people to the point that they were committing suicide. So he poured acid down his throat. Uh, the second one is a guy who hates kids. He just detests babies. And I, I'll, I'll keep this one short just, just for the time sake. But the second guy essentially um, unhooks the safety belt from a baby that a mom's carrying. He's crying in there in the, in the train. And then he pushes the lady off the train, hoping that the baby will fall off and and die. Like, that's basically his goal. His goal is to get rid of the baby, even though he doesn't know the lady, doesn't know the baby, he doesn't know anything um, of these people other than he just is annoyed with the baby. First first thing that annoyed me as a parent is like, how can there be people, be people like that? I understand she's in a crowded place, baby's crying. A lot of people that don't have kids will immediately think, man, that's very rude. Why is it? Why is she here, baby? Calm him down. Do something. As a parent, I understand that there's sometimes the baby you do can do everything to the baby. The baby won't calm down. The best thing you can do sometimes is just to ignore it, and and it'll calm calm himself down. Um, not saying always, just saying the lady was trying her best. He pushes her off. Luckily, the lady noticed. Uh, well, not that I noticed, but she she obviously had her instincts to to hug her baby, and she did, and the baby was was fine. The baby did not die, uh, which again I would have been. Mm. Um, but anyways, the guy is seen by our protagonist, and uh, other things happen, but he eventually is captured by uh, Kenoki Dan, and essentially um. He is taken to a huge bridge, and he's tied up in his chair, and he's like, you want to go bungee jumping? He's like, what the heck are you doing? Like, you're going to throw me off this bridge? And he's like, well, let's go bungee jumping. I'll go with you, you know? Uh, so he throws him, and he throws himself, and he goes, oh, yeah, wait. You probably need a safety, uh, you know, uh, thing. Hopefully it still works, or else you'll die. And obviously, he didn't have it. He smacks in the rocks. And our protagonist obviously does have the safety belt, and he obviously survives. So, yeah, that's the second volume in a nutshell. Uh, very brutal, uh, hence the name. Um, I it, it gets hard for me to read when babies are involved, especially when the baby, the teacher baby, was killed by his by his own hands, as well as the baby almost getting killed in the train. It, it hurts me. I'm, my wife is pregnant, about to give birth. Probably by the time this video releases, she has already a baby. And I don't know, as a father instincts, it, it's just like, I can't, I can't imagine myself being so lost mentally and feeling like there's no one there for me enough to kill my family, a baby, and myself. So in all of that, I guess the best thing that we can get out of this story is that if you are in that situation, you need to get help um, because you could end up hurting not just yourself, but other people. Because um, I mean, I, I'm not 100% sane. No one is. No one is 100% sane. But I, I still, I don't, I don't see myself choking my baby. I don't see myself putting a pillow over, over my baby, um, you know, it, 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 there has to be something completely off, and, and sometimes, like, in this story, it, it, it wasn't his fault, he was pressured into this, he was uh, forced into this corner, and he just didn't know what to do, and I guess the best thing we can get out of this story, I know it's just a story, and I know a lot of people read it just for fun, but let's get let's get something out of it. Let's get let's get something good out of it and say, if you are having mental health, um, get, get get some help. I wish I had some numbers for you guys, but there's a lot of help out there that you guys can research and find. Um, so go get some help. It, it, it's 
there's no shame in that. Um, I myself have gone to therapy with my wife. We weren't in, we weren't in a big hole. We weren't in issues. There were like no infidelity, nothing of that was going on. But before the hole got bigger, we went into therapy, right? And same thing comes with mental health. Before, before it gets worse, why not just get help now? And and nothing bad happens. So, anyways, I know I kind of uh, did a, a little, uh, I don't know, twist at the end. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. I really, really do like this story. Obviously, I'm into gore and stuff like that. So, um, you know, seeing the bad guy die is always the best thing. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for loving uh, my videos. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.